Hi folks, the Filipina Pi here. The Philippines is a country known for its thousands of islands, friendly people, and distinctive cultures. Whether you've never had the good fortune to visit before, or you've been actively living here for years, there's just so much to do in the Philippines that it probably takes several lifetimes to see it all. A lot of you have asked me to make a list of the top spots to check out for nature lovers. So today, I'm going to do just that. And I've actually been to almost all the places I'll be reviewing so I can personally recommend them. So get ready for the top 10 things to see in the Philippines. Our first destination is Coron. Located in the province of Palawan, Coron is a dream destination for many travelers due to its breathtaking natural beauty and rich marine biodiversity. It's known for its rugged limestone cliffs, crystal clear freshwater lakes, and vibrant coral reefs. There's a lot to do here, including visiting the various hot springs, hiking Mount Tapias, and lounging on any number of luxurious beaches that dot the islands. But for the more adventurous traveler, Coron is most famous for its World War II underwater wreck sites, offering an eerie yet fascinating experience for divers of all skill levels. In 1944, a fleet of Japanese ships was attacked by U.S. Navy aircraft, resulting in the sinking of several Japanese warships, which still rest undisturbed. The sunken ships vary in size and type, and they now lie at varying depths, from 40 meters to 160 meters, making the area suitable for divers with different levels of experience. Over the years, these wrecks have become artificial reefs, hosting an incredible array of marine life. Divers can expect to see barracudas, batfish, and even turtles and rays. The wrecks are also covered in beautiful corals, which add to the surreal underwater scenery. The best time to dive in Coron is typically between October and June, when the waters are calm and visibility is at its best. Dive operators in the area offer various packages, including certification courses for those interested in wreck diving. With so many things to offer, Koran is definitely one Philippines destination you won't want to miss. Before you leave the island, be sure to check out Kayangan Lake, often hailed as one of the cleanest freshwater lakes in the Philippines and a stunning natural wonder in its own right. Known for its surreal beauty and crystal clear waters, it is a top destination for tourists visiting the area. The lake, accessible by a short boat ride from the main town of Koron, is nestled within towering limestone cliffs, giving it a secluded and enchanting appearance. The water is a mixture of freshwater and saltwater, which contributes to its unique underwater scenery. It's part of a larger system of inland lakes that are connected to the sea through underwater caves. The stunningly clear water makes it an ideal spot for swimming and snorkeling, and the unusual rock formations and the variety of fish species only add to the experience. Oslob, a small coastal town located about 120 kilometers from Cebu City, Oslob has gained international fame for its whale shark watching. Oslob has a rich history dating back to the Spanish colonial era, evident in its preserved historical structures, such as a coral stone fortress built during the Spanish period, the Immaculate Conception Church, another historical site reflects the town's colonial past and religious heritage. There are beautiful waterfalls nearby, and even caves to explore, but the biggest attraction is the whale sharks, where tourists get up close and personal with the world's largest fish. These gentle giants, locally known as butanding, feed mainly on plankton, but local fishermen feed them small shrimp to entice them into the area so the tourists have the opportunity to swim and snorkel with the whale sharks in close proximity. The tours typically take place in the early morning hours, starting around 6 a.m. and lasting until noon. You can't touch the whale sharks, but you're welcome to film them above and below water. Critics of this type of tourism argue that it disrupts the natural migration patterns of the fish and affects their health and behavior 
and feeding them leads the whale sharks to associate humans with food, which could potentially alter their natural habits and interactions with other species. But for now, these magnificent creatures are still on display. So if you're looking for a unique adventure, Oslob is a once-in-a-lifetime option. Apple Island Apple Island is a small volcanic island located off the southeastern tip of Negros Oriental, almost literally in my backyard. It's renowned for its rich marine life and pristine coral reefs, covering only about 180 acres. The island is only accessible by boat from Zambongita or Dawin. It's about a half-hour trip but truly a unique experience. The island is surrounded by a marine sanctuary and no fishing zone which helps to preserve and protect its diverse marine ecosystem. Apple Island is also one of the top diving destinations in the Philippines, known for its coral gardens, clear waters, over 650 documented fish species, and over 400 species of corals. The waters around Apple Island are home to a significant population of green sea and hawksbill turtles making it an excellent spot for snorkelers and divers to observe these creatures. Ecotourism is the main source of livelihood for the local community, emphasizing the importance of sustainable practices. Visitors are encouraged to follow eco-friendly guidelines, such as using reef-safe sunscreen, avoiding touching or stepping on corals, and not disturbing marine life like the sea turtles. The island also has hiking trails leading to its lighthouse and offering panoramic views of the Negros coastline. And if you look hard enough, you can see me sitting in my studio, waiting for the power to come back on. As for staying overnight, Apple offers limited accommodation options, including homestays and a few small resorts, providing basic amenities and a rustic experience. Bring enough cash as there are no ATMs on the island. Apo is more about enjoying nature and less about luxury. Boracay Located in western Visayas region, Boracay is one of the most popular tourist destinations in all of the Philippines. Renowned for its white sandy beaches and vibrant nightlife, you'll be able to indulge in activities like parasailing, kiteboarding, snorkeling, and scuba diving, as well as sunset sailing on a traditional parao boat. The dry season, from November to April, is the best time to visit, with January to March being the peak season. The most famous beach in Boracay is White Beach, known for its powdery white sand and crystal clear waters. It's divided into three different stations, each offering different vibes and experiences. There are also quieter alternatives to White Beach, perfect for relaxation and sunbathing. Puka Shell Beach, named after the abundant puka shells found there, is far less crowded and offers a more serene environment. But more than just a place for fun in the sun, Boracay offers spas and wellness centers where you can indulge in a massage and other treatments for relaxation. And after dark, Boracay is famous for its vibrant nightlife with numerous bars, clubs, and even beach parties. You'll never be bored on this island. Boracay also offers a wide range of accommodations, from inexpensive hostels to luxury resorts, catering to all preferences and budgets. The island is a culinary hotspot with a variety of dining options, ranging from street food to high-end restaurants, with something for every palate. As a first-time visitor to Boracay, you'll find that it offers not just picturesque landscapes, but also a rich blend of activities and experiences. Whether you're looking for relaxation, adventure, or nightlife, Boracay is a destination that caters to a diverse range of interests. Banawe A small town in the Ifugao province, Banawe is renowned for its majestic rice terraces, often referred to as the eighth wonder of the world. The town and its surroundings offer a unique blend of cultural and natural attractions, far from the beach resorts that draw so many visitors to the Philippines. The ancient rice terraces of Banawi are a UNESCO World Heritage Site and were carved into the mountains by the Ifugao people over 2,000 years ago. 
the best way to appreciate their grandeur is by visiting various viewpoints around town, and the site is one you'll never forget. Several hiking routes take you through the terraces, the traditional villages, and the lush landscapes. These treks can range from a few hours to multiple days, offering a closer look at the Ifugal culture and the way of life. One such village is Batad, often considered the most picturesque of all. Batad is known for its amphitheater-like terraces. It's a bit more remote, but well worth the effort. Close by is the Tapia Waterfall, an impressive natural feature that offers a refreshing swim after a hike through the steep terrain, as well as taking a dip in the natural hot springs nearby. But perhaps the most rewarding activity in Banawe is getting an insight into lives of traditional Ifugao people. Explore the local market to shop for handicrafts and fresh produce. It's a great way to interact with the locals and support the community. There are various accommodations available in Banawe, ranging from homestays to budget lodgings to mid-range hotels. But please remember that when visiting the villages, it's important to respect local customs and practices. In this traditional culture, you should ask permission before taking photos of people or the inside of their homes. Banawe provides not just stunning scenery, but also a rich cultural experience. It's a destination that appeals to nature lovers, culture enthusiasts, and anyone looking to immerse themselves in the serene beauty of the Philippine highlands. The Chocolate Hills The Chocolate Hills are located on the island of Bohol and stand out as one of the most iconic natural wonders in the Philippines. A geological formation comprising over 1,200 uniformly shaped hills spread over an area of more than 50 square kilometers. The Chocolate Hills are made of limestone, covered in green grass that turns brown during the dry season, resembling giant chocolate mounds. They are believed to have been formed from coral deposits sculpted by erosion and weathering over thousands of years. The hills vary in height, but are typically about 30 to 50 meters high. Truly a unique sight, the chocolate hills are best enjoyed from several different decks that offer panoramic views. But for those with a more adventurous spirit, ATV rides are available near the base of the mounds. It's advisable to wear appropriate footwear due to all the hiking and climbing, so wearing flip-flops like I usually do is not recommended. The island of Bohol is home to other natural attractions as well, like the Tarsier Sanctuary, where you can see one of the world's smallest primates. After spending time in Bohol, you'll notice a rich cultural and natural heritage that's specific to the area. The landscape of the Chocolate Hills is a testament to the unique geological history of the region and offers visitors a truly memorable experience. El Nido No list of hot spots in the Philippines would be complete without mentioning El Nido, a prime destination renowned for its amazing natural splendor, stunning cliffs, lush jungles, hidden lagoons, and some of the most beautiful white sand beaches in the world. Kayaking in the lagoons is a popular activity here, with unforgettable spots known for their sheer limestone walls and tranquil turquoise waters. The area is perfect for snorkeling, diving, and island hopping, with various tours that take visitors to different sets of islands and hidden spots. There's also Nakpan Beach, a four-kilometer stretch of golden sand perfect for relaxation and swimming, and Snake Island, known for its unique sandbar that appears during low tide. There's also hiking to the top of the cliffs, with the best panoramic view of El Nido Town and Backwit Bay, an ideal activity for adventure seekers. You can also explore the inland jungles, which offer a different perspective of the area's natural beauty. El Nido offers a wide range of accommodations, from budget guest houses to luxury resorts. And the town has numerous restaurants and bars, serving both local Filipino and international cuisine. Seafood is particularly fresh and is considered a must try. But a word to the wise, medical facilities are limited, 
so it's advisable to bring any necessary medications and first aid supplies. El Nido's breathtaking landscapes and rich biodiversity make it an unparalleled destination for nature lovers, adventure seekers, and those looking for a tranquil escape. Well, that's my list of the best places to see in the Philippines. I'd also like to add two more of my favorites, Sikihar and Bantayan Island. I've already done videos on them, so I'll put the links in the description box. The list is still far from complete, but in a country with so much to experience, the choices are endless. Thanks for joining me today, and I'll be back on Friday with an old friend, and her friends too. Till then, folks! If you think about it, I'm kind of like a Hooters girl without the Hooters. Serving you exactly what you need. A double shot of hot, fresh content twice a week. The only thing I ask for my service is a thumbs up on this video, subscribing to my channel, and hitting the notification bell so you know when your next meal is ready. If you want to become one of my favorite customers, please check out my Patreon page for extra content and exclusive features. To help you decide what to order, Check out this delicious assortment of great choices. Now, what can I get ya?